a hardy annual plant with biennial shoots. We're talking raspberries, and yours are likely just waking up from a long winter's dormancy. Flora canes busting out their new buds and leaves while the prima canes are on their way up as the weather warms. With a unique taste like no other berry, raspberry growers eagerly await the summer's bounty with these guys, hoping that all they've done is enough. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome to another episode of The Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, we do more than enough. And today's episode is all about feeding your raspberries. What to feed them and when to feed them. Time short as it always is, so let's dive in. As a cool weather crop, raspberries spend much of their life suspended in a long winter slumber. Because of this short window of actual growing time, we only feed our raspberries once a year. Make no mistake, your patch can just be amended with some rich compost, mulched heavily with layers of organics, and that can easily be enough to sustain the plants. But if you really want to fertilize, that happens only once. And the time to do it is right now. The best time to feed your raspberries is just as they've started to break bud in the early, early spring. Like strawberries, you'll want to avoid any feeding that's close to fruiting, but to take it a step further, all raspberry fertilization should cease by June. That's great, but what should we be feeding with? Well, for raspberries, the best fertilizers are the ones with a balanced NPK. By that I mean the three numbers on the label of any fertilizer you buy should be the same or very, very close. Now, if you have good soil and you regularly amend with rich compost, your fertilizer can skew higher in potassium. That would be the last number or K. In certain circumstances, this can get you mega harvests, but it's always better to play it safe and use a balanced blend. In the end, feed only once in the early spring and use a balanced fertilizer to support foliar but also fruiting growth. And hey, don't feed past June, but do make sure to check out the next episode of The Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching, guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.